What's going on YouTube? It's Tadded. We've got some awesome finds in this video, but in this video I find an item that I need to talk to you guys about. Every single time I find it, I'm always having to answer questions about it. So, you know what time it is. It's time to go game hunting. So you ready? Let's go. Today. All right. Oh, cool. I love these old games. Mm. <laughs> How much did you say you wanted for it? You said you'd give me 40. I've no, I said I'd give you a little bit more. I got 35. Will you take that? No, because I got somebody offering me 75. How about, how about 39? I got. <laughs> somebody offered me 75. You're not going to say $1 less? No, sir. No, okay. 75. Okay. All right, uh, let me get you another dollar because I got like 39 on me. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Okay. All righty. Let me get you another dollar. Here's. Oh, I don't know about all that now. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so there's four. Uh -huh. And then I got 35 here. All right, we'll let it go. You sure? Yeah. All righty. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay. And this well, seems I like it's in pretty good please. condition. But I really appreciate it. Okay, folks, so this is the item that I wanted to talk to you about. I've already taken uh, the screws out. I've taken the eject button and the plates off so that I can show you what you need to be looking for whenever you find Super Nintendos in, out in the wild. The very first thing you can do is, if you're finding Super Nintendos, like if someone's messaging you saying, hey, I've got this lot, I've got the Super Nintendo lot, always see if you can try to get pictures of the bottom of the Super Nintendo because what you're going to want to look for is the serial number. Uh, this serial number starts with UN3 and that's the serial number that we want whenever we're looking for and let me show you what's on the inside the one chip models. You can see right here where it says one chip zero one. The one chip model Super Nintendo is going to fetch you a lot more money on eBay. This model, this particular model, the one chip model, it comes in a 0102 and a 03, I believe. Every single model outputs a better video quality, uh, audio quality, and it's the more sought after board when it comes to Super Nintendos. So these sell with a controller and the, the power cable and the AV cable for anywhere between $125 to $150, depending on condition. You're going to see a lot of uh, Japanese consoles whenever you're looking on eBay for one-chip models. You're going to see a lot of Japanese consoles, but look for the, the NTSC uh, models, and you're going to see that they go for some very high value. So, this makes up a lot of the value of that lot that I picked up. Now I did not know that it was a one chip when I agreed on the price. So after discovering that it was a one chip that just made the lot even more valuable and even better as far as making profit on eBay. So that's what I want to show you. Two things you need to look for is the serial number beginning with UN3. Every single one chip I have ever found the serial number starts with UN3. And then remove the plate here, and you can see the model here that says one chip. There's also another spot you can look 
without having to remove the, the plating or anything. And that's going to be right here on the board. You see where it says SNS one chip zero one. So there's another place for you to look for the model number without having to remove the plating. There you go. Reselling tip 101. Yeah, man. Appreciate that. Yeah. Let me take a look at it. It's hard to have a four year old. <laughs> I hear that. No, let's see if you can get that for me. I'm pretty sure I grabbed all the games. Yeah, there, there were 13 in that picture. Let's see. Good games there too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think a little more than 13 there. <laughs> and I might come across some more of these, man. We do cool. Y'all do like spring cleaning and shining empty out some of the storage here. All right, we'll take a look at these screens. Have you turned these on? No. I, no? They had them on, but I, did, I hadn't charged them since, okay. we, since we took screens them out. Screens are in pretty good condition. There's not a bunch of scratches or anything yeah, on them. Yeah, them, them young ones are mine. Yeah. They, you see she's got the newest iPad. Cool, and you got the charger for it and all. That's yeah. cool. And we agreed on 70 bucks? Yeah, that's cool. All right, count that out for me. Make and sure it's like If I come across some more of it, I'll let you know. Alrighty, $70. 70 bucks. I appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for meeting me. I'm glad to find somebody that can use them. Yeah, I collect a lot of this older stuff. Yeah. Good, I'm Justin. No, I'm nice to meet you. Alrighty. Turned 18 and went to service. So oh, I did too when I was in. I was wondering what I was going to do with these things. Right. I tried to plug them all in too. Sure. To make sure that they would come on and they did. Okay. But that's the, that's the little Game one. Boy. Okay. Yes. Like I said, I bought it. And ESP. ESP. Yeah, the bag is probably the I say, there's a box for that. Okay, that works. I don't know Let if me. you're gonna resell them or. Well, I collect, oh, okay. and whatever I don't have, I like to keep, and then whatever I do have, I like to resell and kind of make a little bit of my money back. These are just cases. Just cases. Just cases. They're my game in. <laughs> okay. This. Is all the PSP games? PSP games. Okay. Quite a bit in there. Let me take a look. Yeah. You mind if I set it up here? No, you can set it up there. Oh, that's such a ticker. You just got to pull it. Yeah. There you go. There we go. And those are the DS. Them are new, but that one, that one was pre-owned. Dressed up off. I bought out of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Papa. And that one, that one, I have no clue what no it clue. is. No clue what that one is. going to be a mystery. That's it. That's it on that. Yeah. And then you have... And then here, got all these... That way, from when he was a little boy to yeah, till he got older. <laughs> uh, Mario Kart. And then you said you had a bunch of cases in the other bag.
Take a look through those. See if there's any games left in those. I forgot all about that. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's some of the cases for those PSP games. That's cool. Yes. They'll probably have all the cases for the PSP. These, though, because they come right. used so most of them were used. Okay. He kept right. everything he has. Yeah. That's so loud. Well, what we haven't discussed is a price. <laughs> Did you have a price in mind for everything? Okay. No. <laughs> That's the thing. I've got no clue. All you showed me was this. I didn't know about any of this. And so I really don't know what everything's worth nowadays um, on this older stuff. Um, I mainly try to look for stuff that I don't have in my collection. Right. And then stuff that I'm like I, I'm not interested in at all. I just kind of, you know, try to get rid of it. Like, um, pretty sure I got all of these except for this game. And that game's not in there. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, dang. They Maybe it's that mystery that game. <laughs> it might be that mystery game. It might be that. It's charged up. Transform. A little bit. Yeah. You might be able to put it in there and. Let's see. It's not in there. Yeah, to the DS. It's charged up too. A little bit. It's not in any of those cases. That might be it, though. You might be right. But this one's charged up some. Um. I got enough to get it on or I had to hunt around for the chargers. Yeah, that one comes on. Um uh, take a hundred bucks for all of it? Sure. Okay. I can do that. That'll work for me. I'll do that. All right, let me hit the ATM and I'll get you your money. I'll get your stuff back. All righty, here's your hundred. Right. And Thank I really you, appreciate sir. it. You're welcome. Thank you so much and you have a great day. If you find anything else, let me know. I will. Okay. Come okay, so this is everything from the lots that I picked up that is for sale. There's quite a bit here. Some have already sold, uh, but a lot of this is just now getting listed. PSP 3000 is listed for sale already. The DS Lite, that is actually going in towards a trade with a friend of mine. Uh, he's got almost every single DS Lite in box, except for the white one. So I'm going to trade for uh, trade with him for that. Uh, the two DS um, originals. They both have screen issues. They both work. They both read games, but they are going to need screen replacements. So I'll probably lot those together and sell them pretty cheap. For someone that's into modding them, uh, I know a lot of people turn these into macro um, Game Boys. If you've never seen that, uh, Google some some pictures of some macro Game Boys, and, and there's some really cool uh, pieces out there that uh, people have worked on. Um, these DS games, the bottom four, those will get lotted together. Uh, Mario Kart and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, those have been listed separately. Uh, these Super Nintendo games have been listed separately, all except for Toomba and I think Will of Fortune. I'll throw those in with that Super Nintendo when I get it listed. These three were case only. Uh, Aliens Infestation, that's pr a pretty rare DS game and a, a complete copy can go uh, upwards of $80 or more. Um, this is just the case, uh, the manual, all the inserts, etc. So no game, unfortunately. Then we got a pretty beat up Mickey's Racing Adventure on Game Boy Color. Um, some pretty, you know, basic shovelware GBA games. These four got listed separately. 
There's that fire emblem. And then these will get listed separately as well. Chinatown Wars, that's pretty pretty good $18 game there. Uh, this this one without a label is another uh, Battle of Giants game. And then we got some loose PSP games. I don't keep loose PSP games at all. Uh, we got The Godfather, Little Big Planet, Lego, Pirates of the Caribbean, Midnight Club, uh, LA Remix, Tomb Raider Legend, Madden 06, God of War, Chains of Olympus, I think. Yeah. Uh, from Russia with Love 007, Twisted Metal, Head On, The Simpsons Game, and So Calm, Tactical Strike. That's everything for sale still, folks. And now I will show you what I'm keeping for the collection. Okay, so also this one chip and Medal of Honor Heroes and God of War, uh, Ghosts of Sparta, those are also for, going to be for sale. But this is what I'm keeping. Star Wars Battlefront Elite Squadron complete, Assassin's Creed Bloodlines complete, both on the PSP, Batman Forever on the Super Nintendo, and then these non-GBA games. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, Splinter Cell, uh, Jurassic Park 3, The DNA Factor, Spider-Man 2, Bomberman Tournament, Zelda The Ford Swords, that's actually a double, uh, but my copy doesn't have a label on it. Um, has an original board, just no label, so I'm upgrading there. Earthworm Jim, Iron Man, the Invincible Iron Man, and Fire Emblem, uh, the Sacred Stones. Everyone knows that Fire Emblem is pretty pricey. This is one that you also need to look out for. The Invincible Iron Man had no clue until I looked it up. $30, $40 game on eBay all day. So if you see this one, pick it up for your collection. If you don't already have it, if you do, you know it's worth. Go ahead and flip that. But there you have it, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon when you do so you receive notifications every single time I upload new content. Hope you've had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Tata Collector and have a good one.